folks, Steve here at Boss Trailers. Today we're going to take a closer look at the interior of a East to West Della Terra model 230RB. Uh, it is the smallest of the Della Terra product line. It's 28 foot 11 inch overall length and it weighs 5,245 pounds. It's a great little couple of trailers. There's lots of very interesting features. Uh, the Della Terra product line is a product uh, that I like to call the stick and tin construction. So wood framing aluminum on the outside. And normally from other uh, manufacturer, they really cut corners, but not here folks, Della Terra or East to West. Uh, they have upbuilt their products. So our floor joists, 12 inch on center, deck with plywood, 5'8 tongue and groove. Uh, that just doesn't exist. There's only a couple of other product line on the market that does that. 16 inch on center, roof trusses, decked with 3 8 It's a full walk on, uh, walk -on roof. Uh, 35,000 BTU furnace standard, 15K AC standard, uh, 48 gallon freshwater tank standard, king size bed at the front standard, fully enclosed and heated on the valley standard. There's lots of very interesting feature in these trailers. So we're going to take a look at the inside right now. Right when you come in, you have a sofa. Yes, it is a smaller trailer, but the thing that I like about it is when you're sitting here, your TV's on the wall over there, it's perfect, you got the perfect viewing um, angle. The kitchen, there's definitely a few things I like about this. There's a farmer style, very deep stainless steel single bowl, a restaurant style tap, so it's a nice touch, um, thermal foil counter. They use heat to wrap the counter itself so that the, the water is not going to damage the, the seam that may be at the front because there isn't any. Uh, they upgraded the window this year, it's a very large window. There's a tree burner stove with flush mounted double or bifold glass cover. There's a nice little cast iron grill that I really, really like. There's a knife rack in the back. There's room for two, four, six, seven knife. A charcoal filtered range hood, microwave, uh, oven, all finish in animal. It's a great finish and there's a light in it as well. Uh, cabinet so plywood made drawers ball bearing hardware uh, there's a place uh, a shelf here for all your pots and pans and maybe some of the cleaners uh, we talked about this uh, so far earlier but I forgot to mention there's actually an access at the front uh, you could put a couple bins in there and put some stuff maybe your onions your potatoes stuff like that uh, top cabinet they actually changed the door itself they put a glass insert which looks very nice so honestly this is big enough to fit all of the dishes that you would need uh our fridge it's an eight cubic foot fridge it's gas electric so last year a lot of manufacturers started putting 12 volt fridge only and a lot of manufacturers were giving us an option to continue on with the gas electric in our territory the ottawa valley we feel that a lot of customers are dry camping and we feel that if you're going to be towing your trailer the gas electric is the way to go and that's how we feel for now it may change in the future uh, we know there's a lot of changes right now in the industry with solar panels so the manufacturers are adding panels as a standard features to keep your battery charged so you can keep your 12 volt fridge going but we're not quite there yet so another year or two and i'm sure we'll see some very positive changes in that way your dinette it's very large there's a great bay window right there and that's your space folks this is when you're into a campsite that space belongs to you so you get to take a look at your at your site there's pleated shades on all the windows you get a 32 inch flat screen tv it's connected to an am fm uh, usb auxiliary hdmi bluetooth stereo there is a little bit of storage above the window and so is above the TV, so that would be a great spot for maybe some of the Tupperware and stuff like that. Under our dinette, we got a couple of big drawers. 24 inch actually, so you can definitely fit a few things here. Uh, we talked about the AC, it's docked through the roof. And we talked about the large furnace, 35,000 BTU furnace. Uh, one of the big differences in the De La Terra is they do not put the vents on the floor. There's always one near the kitchen, which always end up full of sand, dust, crumbs, whatever comes off the counter ends up in there. 
they actually dug them through the cabinet. So there's one under the sofa, there's one under the cabinet here, there's one in the bedroom, and there's one in the bathroom. So while we're here, let's take a look at the bathroom. We have a nice size radius shower with glass, surround, and a skylight. And I'm uh, five foot eight. There's still another foot above my head here, so you gotta be pretty damn tall to not fit in that shower. Because the interior height of this trailer, folks, is 81 inch. There is a porcelain toilet, just like at home. So your bowl is made out of porcelain. There is a nice size vanity here with a very large uh, vanity sink. That's actually pretty rare. Most manufacturer, they put the smallest sink they can fit and uh, or they can find and, and it's a problem at least here there's no issue washing your hands brushing your teeth double medicine cabinet there's a little bit of storage below as well power outlets definitely some room to leave a toothbrush there is a motion detector light right here above the sink and there is another light a main light right here that's on the switch so if the motion detector light is in the on position because you get to choose on or on motion, but if it's on motion, when you open the door, it's gonna turn on. And if you need more lights, you can just turn, uh, turn on the switch. Uh, you were looking at earlier, a nice little linen closet. Uh, plenty of room for extra towels and bedding if you want. And that's, I think that's a tour of the bathroom. We have a power fan as well on the roof. Bedroom at the front, there's a nice touch there. Now all of our interior walls are three inch, nothing is moving. So here and the one in the bathroom, it's ex it adds a lot of strength to the trailer. So our bed, 72 inch wide, so it is a king size bed. There is a shirt closet on each side with a real bar inside. And a nice little cabinet below. But they cut it, they didn't make it go all the way to the back. So when you're actually laying in bed, you're not really sleeping against the wall. There's a power outlet and a USB outlet on each side. There is a window on each side. And a roof vent for the ventilation. Under our bed, we got a nice plywood made bed base. And the interior parts is closed off from the pass-through storage on the outside. So you could be leaving some extra clothes and linen in here if you need to. So that's a nice touch. The size of the bed is a nice touch. Uh, there's a spot for a TV right here. And there's a light switch on the wall. And we talked earlier about the vent for the furnace. Right there on the wall. So not on the floor. Which is great. Folks, I think we've done the tour of this great little um, 230RB in the Della Terra. Uh, if you're on my website and you're looking at the price and you're wondering, wow, this is an awesome price. It sure is. On top of that, our prices always include the cost of the freight and the PDI, and then some more. We give you a starter kit. We're going to do a full demo with you. You're going to be here for half a day. Folks, I think we've done it. Thanks for watching.